Hello, my friends. May the Holy Spirit bless all of you with His presence, His glorious and holy presence. And the presence of the Holy Spirit is peace itself. The Holy Spirit is peace itself. When the person is in the faith, lives in the faith, and by faith, then they have peace. Perfect peace. Even if on the outside there is war, but in their inner being they have perfect peace because they are in the faith. Yesterday we spoke about this. We have peace with God through the faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. So, faith in the Lord Jesus Christ gives us peace. It brings us peace. Peace with God and peace with ourselves, with our conscience. This is the benefit of faith, the living faith in the living God, of an intelligent faith, a conscious faith, a faith that is supernatural, the faith in the power of the Almighty, so, which is His Word. So when a person receives the spirit of faith, which is the Holy Spirit, then they receive peace with God and with themselves. Pay close attention. Jesus said like this, Peace I leave with you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. That in this moment, in this exact moment, you may receive this peace right now, there where you are. Probably you are living or you have been living in a war with conflicts, problems in your family, in your love life, in your finances and so on. Problems and problems and more problems. However, God, through the Holy Spirit, when He comes to us, He does not come to be by our side or leaning against us or above us, no. Over our head, no. He comes to dwell inside of us. And that's what it means to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. The peace, the glorious peace of our Lord Jesus Christ makes itself present inside of us. And this peace does not end, it doesn't cease, it remains throughout our whole lives and afterwards we are going to enter into the joy, the rest of our Father. However, here on earth Jesus said, Peace I live with you. This is his inheritance to his followers. This is his inheritance, God's inheritance, to his followers who are faithful, loyal, and obedient to his word. Peace I live with you. And I don't leave any peace. I leave my peace. I leave my peace with you. That's what Jesus is saying. Peace I live with you. Which peace? My peace. 
This is too glorious. You who are there suffering with problems, situations, we all face problems, situations in general, but the peace of the Lord Jesus inside of us is something sublime. It's something indescribable. It's something that is infinite. It's something that is beyond measure. It's immeasurable because it's the peace, the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Imagine, my friend, the peace of God inside of you right now, in this instant. As I speak, I'm sure, I'm convicted that something is happening there where you are. Perhaps you have woken up early during the night to pray. And before praying, before you say your prayers, the peace of our Lord Jesus invades your being and you receive peace and you feel like laughing and crying at the same time and laughing and crying you feel something extraordinary that you never felt before this is peace it's the spirit of peace that comes upon you jesus said but the helper the holy spirit whom the father will send in my name he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Wow. My friend, this Sunday is a promising Sunday. Did you know that? Because we are inviting everybody who has been living in tribulations and problems with needs. People who say, oh, I have the Holy Spirit, but I don't have peace. Then you don't have the Holy Spirit. But I speak in tongues, but you don't have the Holy Spirit. Because the sign, the evident sign, the main characteristic of the presence of the Holy Spirit in us is peace. The peace of God, not the peace of the world, not the peace for some time, or the peace of having resolved a few problems here and there. No, it's the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Those who have the Lord Jesus Christ, truly, they have peace, they are at peace, and they live in peace for all their life, because Jesus is peace. His Spirit is peace. And those who are His have to have peace. They have to have it. It's not optional. Mandatorily, whoever has the Lord Jesus as their only Lord and Savior, they have peace. They live in peace. And they are at peace despite of the problems that they face on the outside. May the spirit of peace come and clarify these words to you in case you haven't fully understood them. But one thing you have to admit, that when you have Jesus indeed, you have peace. Truly. If there is no peace, it's because the presence of Jesus is not in that person's life but if you have him then there has to be peace 
and I'm referring once again, I repeat, to the internal peace, the peace of the Almighty that no one can take away. There is no demon, there is no jealousy, envy, witchcraft, sorcery. There is nothing in this world that can remove, touch even, this peace because it's the peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I would like you, my friend, you who are at peace, who live in peace, I would like you to bring a person this Sunday in a universal church, a person that is truly living a piece of hell. Bring this person. Whatever is the problem they have, bring them to receive the peace of the Lord Jesus this Sunday in all the universal churches of the kingdom of God. Please, please do so. Look for someone who is living a piece of hell and bring this person to a universal church all over the world, wherever there is a universal church of the kingdom of, of God, there will be a servant of God passing the spirit that God has given them, which is the spirit of peace. All right? May God bless you all. And don't forget, tonight, there in Curitiba, in the temple there in Curitiba, Bishop Renato and Cristiani, are going to be alongside Bishop Gonçalves, directing the word to those who are living, experiencing problems in the family, problems that involve their love life. If you know someone, take them there at 8 p.m. But don't forget, this Sunday, you have the mission to bring someone who is groaning, who is suffering, to a universal church in order for them to receive this peace. Jesus said like this. He is the one who said, it's not my promise. I'm just repeating what he said. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Do you believe in this? Is this word truly from Jesus? If it's his word, if it's the Lord Jesus' word, then you are going to seek it. Oh my God, I will go to the church this Sunday to receive this peace which you have promised here. I'm going there to receive, not to pray, not to ask. I'm going there to receive it. This is the faith that I want you to come with. Come with this assurance that you are going to receive it. May God bless you all. And I'll see you tomorrow in Jesus' name. Amen.